All right, y'all, let's do this. <sighs> Dogs are mad. They're mad. Also, I'm wearing the microphone, and it's just going to bobble around on my neck while we do this. Gail with Gail Southern Living is having a hashtag challenge, and I'm going to tell you at this very second, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called Garb Tours. If not, I'll put it on the screen. But anyway, I want to participate, and I want to show you my garden, and actually, I want to show it to you in several bite-sized pieces because for it being April 1st, which it is today, April 1st, there's a lot going on in here. I'm real excited about it. Also, I get to show you things before I rip them out. <laughs> it's time. It's time to rip things out, like bolted brassicas, mainly. Mainly when I say that, I'm talking about bolted brassicas. I'm going to put y'all on my selfie stick, and that way I can get y'all up close and personal with everything and the sound quality will just sustain its awfulness. Okay. But you won't have volume going up and down, in and out, um, as I'm zooming in. All right, so I'm going to film in sections, um, one section per day. So I think we're going to start at the entrance here, and we're going to do this first section all the way to that corner. There's quite a lot to see. So in the entrance here, you can see that my sunset runner beans, we did have some come up. Nice. Let me grab my wine. Now on to the rest of the tour. So I brought in my citrus from the back porch of the man cave. Uh, this is my Persian lime here. It is absolutely covered in bees, covered in bees and poop babies. Poop babies are all over my citrus. Here's the biggest one right here. Look at that big old poop baby. Hopefully oh. the wasps don't take my poop babies away. Anyway, we have bees and wasps all over. Look at that. Anyway, all kinds of pollinators and bees. All right, we won't take too much time on the citrus, but look at my uh, baby limes. We have hundreds. Literally, I think there are hundreds of baby limes. It's awesome. Okay. Oh, and more poop babies. All right. So at the entrance here, this is my salvia. This is uh, Blue Better salvia. That, this one's about to bloom. Um, Graham Thomas has been blooming beautifully. All up there. Look how pretty. Buttery yellow. I've still got to tie those canes back. Haven't done it yet. And we missed the big shower bloom so you can see all the dead heads. But anyway, still pretty. Still gorgeous. So this part of the bed here is something that's probably going to be cleaned out real soon. My spinach didn't do so well. I mean, at least I got some. But a lot of it is starting to bolt. So what I'll do is I'll harvest these tiny baby leaves and we can have a tiny baby salad. Um, this in the pot here is an angel trumpet, big angel trumpet um, cutting that I got from a friend. So I'm going to plant that in the ground, probably in that corner right there. Um, this is my seven top turnip leaves, and it's getting powdery mildew. So I think what I'll do is I'll harvest the leaves that are still good, cook those up. And then next is, oh, I can't remember the name of this one. This was a, an interesting one for me, a salad burnet. Um, it tastes okay. It's very weird tasting um, as far as in it tastes kind of like nothing, but it's supposed to be very nutritious, so I'm going to eat it. Um, oh, this first block of spinach here was the Bloom Still Long Standing. This one here is a spinach called Big Ruffles, and it is a little bit bigger, but not much, so we'll harvest that, and that will give us two blocks of growing space for three actually in which I can plant more things. Um, I also have a Moonlight Mile Mar bit <laughs> I've been drinking. Okay. Moonlight Mile variegated tomato. And look, we have tomatoes, big tomatoes. And beautiful variegated foliage. Of all of my variegated tomatoes I'm growing this year, I'm growing three, three or four. This Moonlight Mile is probably the prettiest. That's just gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous, that hot pink beauty right there is my Pampas Plume Celosia, looking gorgeous. That's from Seed. Here's more of that Blue Better Salvia. 
from seed. This is from seed that I planted about four years ago. And it just keeps reseeding and coming back from the root. So I highly recommend if you can find some blue better salvia seeds. I got mine at Walmart. You'll have these blue spires that look like lavender. You'll have them for the rest of your life pretty much. Yeah. And down here is a poppy. Beautiful. I sprinkled poppy seeds all over the place. This is a poppy that I got from Antique Rose Emporium about two years this ago. This right here is a sweet pea. Doing pretty well, actually. Um, I forgot the name of it. I have more in hanging baskets that I'll get to in later videos. I need to show you this. Look at that. Beautiful foliage. And here's another flower about to come. But let me show you what this is. This is a Robinson Blue Chrysanthemum. Sorry, Robinson Red. Excuse me. Robinson Red Chrysanthemum. And I'm guessing it's a biennial because I planted these last year. I planted them out in the garden, I think, or I started the seeds in March of 2023. So this bloomed in March of 2024. So the bloom's been happening for quite a few days. It's starting to get old. But it is gorgeous. And I think it's a perennial. So we'll see. But it is throwing up more flower spikes, which is exciting. And then behind it, I have some white lace or Leia that I grew from seed. So there's two, two seedlings here. I've got some blue lake bush beans that are looking a little yellow. I did fertilize yesterday uh, yesterday and a couple days before. So as you can see it's starting to green up. Some of them are starting to get some color to them. They were just not I guess there wasn't enough nitrogen in my soil. So, And I know beans are nitrogen fixers but when they're this young I'm pretty sure they don't have their nodules underground yet to start storing nitrogen. Um, so these are blue lake bush beans here and over there. But when you get to this pole here, it's rattlesnake pole beans, and they are starting to climb. And there's a little lizard. Hello, lizard. All that ferny stuff back there is yarrow. Uh, we've got a bunch of zinnia seedlings that are coming up from last year, self-seeded. Um, here on this trellis is my tomatillos, and they're already starting to make... <coughs> <laughs> little tomatillos. I should probably pull them off. I don't know if how big the fruit's going to be while the plant's still this small, but there it is. So I've got several kinds and I kind of alternated. I have three different kinds. I have purple tomatillo, Grand Rio Verde, purple tomatillo, Grand Rio Verde, and then on the ends I planted some strawberry <laughs> tomatillo, but you can't see them. Um, oh yes, there's some here. And there's one <laughs> back in there, strawberry tomatillo. Uh, more blue lake bush beans, which are flowering. Let me see, have I missed anything? Let's look. Always after the tour, I feel like I've missed something. No, I think we're good. My mind. All right, so there's more weeds and stuff back here, but um, that plant there with all the leaves that you're seeing down low, that is a uh, mist flower, a uh, native mist flower that showed up on its own, and it has reseeded quite heavily. Um, in these grow bags here, I have strawberry ground cherries at the back, and then Aunt Molly's ground cherry in the forefront here and it already has ground cherries. <laughs> it's too small. I'm going to let it do it. Got two good size ground cherry husks there. This next bag is pineapple ground cherry. I've got four. Two big ones and two small ones. And then this grow bag is my Clancy potato. And I'm not sure if I have anything because I added mulch and there were seeds in my mulch. And I see that's a brassica. That's that's a brassica. But I'm wondering if these little things could be the potatoes. We'll see. Just have to give it some time. Now, in this container here, I have some beans that are starting to climb. These are Cherokee, let's see, Cherokee black pole bean. And look at that. They're starting to climb already. And I did fertilize those as well. 
And I didn't know that that Cherokee black pole bean is actually a creation of Dr. Witchy or Dr. Wichy, who does the yellow tomato. So that's kind of cool. And then all this greenery down here, that's oregano. All oregano. And then my lemongrass. Uh, it's those brown sticks. But you can see there's some new green lemongrass right there. And then this grow bag at the back is my potatoes that's grown from my sprouted house potatoes. And I have never, ever, ever had such lush potato foliage ever in my life of any time I've ever tried growing potatoes. So I have real high hopes for that batch of potatoes just from some sprouted kitchen potatoes. Looks really good. And then in this container here is my Yukon Gold, which are actual seed potatoes that I bought at Walmart. Um, it's not as, I didn't have as many potatoes. I think that's why it's not as full as that one over there, but they still look really good. Really good. Yukon Gold. And I planted these uh, the 18th of February. So, and looky here, we have corn and a big poppy. That's another one of the poppies. That's my biggest one. That's going to bloom soon. But look at all my corn. I'm going to assume this is the candy corn and not the peaches and cream. But it looks really good. And that little bit of green mass back there is my uh, lemon verbena that came back from the roots from the freeze and frost. Anyway, Corn looks good. And I guess we will stop right here. Don't want to give you too much. Go back down the row. I did plant some toothache plant over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's a moldy toothache plant that's starting to leaf out again. See, I let it get moldy, but there in the center you have new leaves. So there's some toothache plant there. Oh, I do have some echinacea that I grew from seed. There's some echinacea there. This is from last year. So they're coming back from last year. There's some more echinacea. Uh, I was going to see if my milkweed came back. I have some other areas of the garden where the milkweed has come back from the roots, which is so crazy cool. I don't see any. Not yet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Baskets at the entrance. These are my, uh, oh, something maverick, salmon, salmon pink something pelagoniums from pine tree seeds you see how the foliage is suffering so I left them in the cell trace too long anyway but the flowers are gorgeous so I have that hanging basket there and I have this hanging basket on the other side here and since we're over here real quick I will show you my world's smallest tomato that has grown like it's two and a half feet now but look at those little baby tomatoes they're so cute all right looking good well, i was about to sign off and there's one more thing i want to show you over here but we have to get to it from the outside so it's behind my corn i see something else really strange too hold on yeah hmm crazy I don't know what that is. I mean, it's pretty. Anyway, here, here's what I want to show you. Um, right here behind the corn, I have some bushy cucumber. And I'm pretty sure I planted, oh, yeah, five. There's the fifth one, I guess, was a little stunted. Anyway, we have four good, healthy, really close together bushy cucumber. I know, five. I just have some five. All right, y'all. That was fun. That was fun. Um, there's so much more to see. I mean, I know. It's literally um, April 1st. Look, just in case this isn't blooming when I come back tomorrow. <laughs> I can't work a selfie stick. I can't work it. I hope that's on camera. All right, guys. Let's do another section tomorrow. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. And thank you, Gail, for having this 
hashtag challenge.